I've got some requests. I want some new books, some toys, like a particle accelerator, a 3D printer, and a pony. I don't think that you really grasp what's going on here. Nice people generally don't haggle over the fate of a planet. I once built a gun out of leaves. Do you think I couldn't get through a door if I wanted to? I'm here, all right? I'm engaging in the process. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we can we can get those things for you. C'est super. So, what have we got so far? They hold on to power by targeting the part of the brain specifically to do with memory and perception, correct? Right? Getting warm, fingers tingling. But they target it with what exactly? How do they sustain it? How do their lies infiltrate the brains of billions? Is it some kind of airborne psychoactive? No, no, that's very cold, very cold. It's something that's constantly being fed to the populace, constantly consolidating its hold. Is it in the water? God, no, it's freezing, freezing, absolutely freezing. Couldn't be colder. Very, very chilly. So, so chilly. Oh, come on. I'm bored. You haven't been to see me in six months. No one has. Not even that bald bloke who looks like an egg. Well, you left her alone and lived for six months. I was in prison for six months. Start at the beginning. How do they get a foothold on a planet? Some idiot asks for their help. Well, not just any idiot. I mean, it has to be a properly consenting human mind. A pure request. One without agenda or ulterior motive. That person creates a psychic link, which forms an anchor that keeps the monks in power. They're the linchpin. Scalding But the brainwaves of one person wouldn't be powerful enough to contain an entire planet. The statues! As soon as they got here, the monks put out statues in every town square, and every park, and every playground. You're on fire. You're literally on fire, so caliente. That's Spanish for hot. The statues are transmitters. They boost the signal and beam it out all around the world. Boom! You've exploded. Now all you have to do is find whoever opened the door to the monks in the first place. Say, I already have. Oh! Oh, well, then you're sorted. Just kill them. That weakens the monks' grip on the world. No, no. No, no, that can't be right. There are planets that the monks have ruled for thousands of years. It's passed on through the bloodline. Usually, the linchpin goes on to lead a normal life, have their own family, and the link is passed down through the generations. But the monks must have worked that out. They've been doing this for millennia. Why? I mean, if the link is passed on, and the monks stay in charge, through, they think, the ruthlessness and efficiency. But if the linchpin dies, and the link isn't passed on, and the monks get booted off the planet, well, they just chalk it up to experience. I want to speak to her. Yes. So, when you defeated the monks, that's how you did it? Well, at this point, all that was left of the bloodline was a wee girl. And I just pushed her into a volcano. It's me. The linchpin is me. Awkward. So you're saying I have to die? No, if you were just to die, then everyone's false memories would have to fade, and that could take ages. It's actually better if you keep breathing. If your brain just keeps transmitting, well, nothing. That would blot out the residue false memories. What would be left of me? You'd be a husk, completely and irrevocably brain dead. You couldn't even get on Celebrity Love Island. Even if that was the truth, the fact that you're suggesting it shows that there's been no change. No, no point. We don't sacrifice people, it's wrong. Because it's easy. You know, back in the day, I'd burn an entire city to the ground just to see the pretty shapes, the smoke ring. I'm sorry your plus one doesn't get a happy ending. But like it or not, I just saved this world because I want to change. Your version of good is not absolute. It's vain, arrogant, sentimental. But if you're waiting for me to become all that, 